Hi, hello. Um, and let's see if this is working. I've just gone, gone for gold and tried to jump in and and see if the gods of YouTube will let us be immediate. Oh, let's see if this is working. Double voice. We've done this before, haven't we? Tried to jump in and. Okay, let's turn that one off. Hello, hi everybody. Hello, how cool was that? Oh my gosh, I love Dan so much. Oh, I I mean every time I see Dan, I have to be really, I I'm I have to be so careful not to be creepy, <laughs> but I am a creepy fan. I'm one of those people that if it was a man and they approached me or spoke to me like that, I'd probably be like, can you call the police, please? Um. Thank you. This is a bard jumper because, as everybody knows, I am a D and D fan. My biggest love, more than Warhammer, sadly, uh, is Dungeons and Dragons. It's Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so I'm a bard. That's my character. Thank you, Alex. It was a super fun interview. How lucky are we to have Dan? I was just thinking of other IPs, like other fandoms, like. You know, I think a lot of fandoms, you would go to a convention or you'd, you'd speak to an author at a book signing. And so for Dan to kind of open himself up, and I know that sometimes, hey, Dead Pixel Day, welcome. Um, I know sometimes the Black Library will not let um, Black Library authors do interviews. So, um, you know, sometimes Ian and I will ask Black Library authors and they just can't do it they can't help us out but Dan has been really consistent and just between us live chat people um at the very end of the interview I said you know thank you so much Dan I super appreciate your kindness and he said I'm really happy to talk to you anytime about anything and I just thought wow that was really generous and I also said as you know Sunday night stream buddies I've been having a really rough ride and you are a high spot. I've been looking forward to this. I knew we would have a lovely chat and we would laugh. And he said, if you ever need a call because you're not feeling good, I can be, your f you know, I can help you out. And I just thought, Dan, why are you so the nicest human ever? Anyway, um, wow. Oh, David, thank you so much. Oh, no, no, it's Neil. Neil Adams, thank you so much. So David Sonicron, John Burkett, Thomas Moomin is here. Hey Moomin. And Sean Price have been gifted a membership. Fantastic. Um, yay, so I hope you all really loved that interview with Dan. I really hope I asked the questions that you wanted me to ask. Um, and I thought I could try showing you the beautiful Eisenhorn Xenos illustrated and annotated edition by Dan Abnett that we spoke about. Um, yes, he is so wholesome. So it's a really gorgeous edition. So it's got this beautiful red um, die on the pages and you get a beautiful bookmark. Um, so Historitas Jim put this in. So I was wondering if he'd bookmarked a certain page that would be clues on or something. Um, so I'm going to see if I can show you the inside using our camera one, camera two technique. So let's see if we can get that working. Mm -mm -mm. So here is camera two. Let's see if it works. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's looking like a no. Hmm. How do I connect these two? camera. No. Oh gosh. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, you haven't. It's impossible. Um, Bluetooth, that could be the thing. Bluetooth. Are we connected? Uh, lens cap. <laughs> it's just my phone. It should be a thing. I'm turning Bluetooth on and off and we'll see if that works. Mm -mm -mm. I'm connected to my watch. That's no use to us here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, sorry, this is so boring for everybody while I try and uh, 
<laughs> Figure this out. I might need to just show you in my usual laptop camera. So as you go through the book, you get these beautiful illustrations in black and red ink. So, yeah. So it's not just like, you know, your usual run of the mill black and white inked illustrations. It's very grim dark. I feel like, yeah, Beckwin's gonna come out soon, uh, Pandemonium. We don't need to worry, we're just waiting for a publishing date. Very atmospheric, gorgeous um, bits. And then as you go through, you get these little bits of red text, which is Dan's, uh, Dan's little notes on things so they're really yeah they're really lovely and if you read the quotes out in a Dan voice it's quite entertaining um yeah so um oh yeah I'll find you something to read sorry I'm reading um so here, for example, he writes a little gaunt ghost Easter egg further interconnecting what would later be insidiously named the Daniverse. The Daniverse, I need to ask him about the Daniverse. Such things get paid back in later gaunt books. We discover that Ibran reads Ravenna's works. So that's really cool. Um, and that is referring to um, the ceremonial mirror armor from Vitria. And again, uh, sorry, my I'm not wearing my reading glasses and I'm blind. Where is this one? Um, oh, here's another beautiful illustration. So yeah, it's really, really a lovely book. Um, in a way, I'm glad I didn't know about the book before I started my interviews with Dan because it does give a lot away. I mean, I still probably would have a shitload of stuff to ask him. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Jim, did you read this before you sent it to me? I, I, I need to look through and see if there's a, a bit where they explain why or if Eisenhorn does really have those purple eyes because there's lots of fan theory around why Eisenhorn has purple eyes, but I'd love to know, because obviously Eisenhorn is a bit of a unicorn. Um, mm -mm. Yes, yeah, so here we have, sit down, Haldane, folk said. You have things to learn here. And Dan's written, at least a little Easter egg, another of the fun references that I was literally weaving between stories to enhance the sense of a single universe. Haldane is, of course, sorry, I try so hard to keep this channel PG-13. Haldane is, of course, a significant character in the early Gaunt books, and they take place many dec decades later, but were published before this. Readers are meeting Haldane in the wrong order. I find that kind of playful connection fun and rewarding. Of course, your mileage may vary. And I mean, it's Dan Abner. We fucking, uh, we freaking love Dan Abner. So Dan doesn't need to worry about our mileage. There's something so, when you imagine some authors get paid, just please write a book set in the 40K universe. Here's some money. And they would just, oh, just rush off anything. I'll just jot any old thing down. And Dan is thinking, oh, you know, how can I connect this to that? I just think it's so beautiful. So let's have a look and see i'm not sure how to reconnect my the old camera here let's see i'm just swapping stuff and seeing if it works he gains the purple eyes between hereticus and the majos you're right he does if anyone would like to google iphone has stopped working in obs and just copy and paste the um the solution, we could have a look at getting that phone back online. Otherwise, it's been a long, long time. 
Oh, Dead Pixel Dave, thank you so much. Dead, I hope you gave yourself a membership. Nem2712, JL, Daryl, Ryan and Matt, welcome, welcome all to the Mirror Manga YouTube membership. Yay! I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. That's so generous of you, Dead. Really lovely to have you along with us. Um, so something that we normally do on... Oh, also, I got a manicure. Rainbow. So very, very proud of that. I was thinking, you know, when I do close-up stuff and I have to show things, it might be nice if my nails looked presentable. So you're welcome. Um, I wonder if that can be a tax write-off. Probably not. Who knows? Um, so welcome to the Sunday Night Lives with Mira Manga. Generally, I struggle with anxiety and I, I worry all the time. On Sunday nights, I feel, oh, nice to meet you, Valus. I hope we see you again. Um, uh, ooh, uh, things falling off. So most Sunday nights, we try and get together and we stream and we play a fighting fantasy book. Um, the, the game we're on at the moment is City of Thieves and we are in end game for City of Thieves. So I really think we should uh, we should be playing that again. Um, remember to tell everyone to like the stream and at everyone on Discord. Oh gosh, okay. Um, oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, so if everybody who's watching now, I can't see how many people are watching, um, but if you would like to uh, like this stream it means more people will rush over here uh, that's how the algorithm works apparently and um, I'm going to quickly at everyone on discord I am so terrible at uh, actually being a proper youtuber I don't know how to <sighs> join us on live so hopefully we'll be able to start our game back up and play that that would be awful if I can't play our fighting fantasy. So let's get this going. We last played this on the 10th of March, two weeks ago, because we were doing uh, Jim's uh, Primark puzzle box together last time. So let's try and head back. Okay, so hopefully you all can see the fighting fantasy screen. And I will have to open up the live in my phone. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's open and resume our game. Please work. Yes. So we have 23 people in the chat. Welcome back, dear old friends and Sean and Callum, my salad days, welcome back. Hopefully we have Alex with us. Hey Aztec, hi Robbie. We've got Sean, Somicron, David Wharton, John Burkett, Philip Collins, Caprice, Sean Dooley. Um, so one of the very fun and cool things that we also do is when we play these games, so Darthus has just written in the chat, is everybody donning their well inspectors outfit. So we've just got this weird and wonderful in joke where we are all well inspectors um, and somebody's actually made a 3D uh, <laughs> a 3D mini of what we look like as well inspectors. I'm just looking for the link in the Discord so I can share it with you all. Does anybody know where that oh I found it okay so this is actually a bit abstract I don't think you can see it but if you have a 3d printer and you would like to have your own mini of yourself as a well inspector um, yeah some one of my amazing uh, buddies in the discord put this together for us orcs 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 put this together for us um, I don't, the pictures are amazing. I wish I could show you the pictures, but I don't have an image I can link to, unfortunately. But if anyone in the chat does, that would be wonderful. Um, thank you. So Robbie says, let's go well, Inspectorate Aztec. Welcome, newly initiated Space Marines. The sorting algorithm will place you in one of the legions Mira has read about in the Horus Heresy so far. Good hunting on the Great Crusade. Amazing. Um, 
Dead Pixel Dave says, as a fantasy fan, Mira, are you interested in looking to Warhammer Age of Sigmar lore? I'm happy with the current announcement of new Skaven models and lore. Um, we've read Gothgul Horror, and I've also read a very old school 1980s um, Warhammer fantasy novel. What was the name of it? This is going to do my head in now. Oh, gosh. It was a very, very old... It must be Sean. It must be Sean. That Sean must be Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. Let's see what the name of that fantasy book was. I'm literally having to Google a podcast I did where I spoke about it. Uh, 28 podcast, which is called something like 46 or something. Ugh. Ignorant Armies, we read. It was an 80s anthology of Warhammer fantasy stuff. So I haven't looked really into Age of Sigmar. I have looked into Mordheim. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to eventually get into Warhammer fantasy. But meanwhile, we have adventures to have in fighting fantasy. So we believe we're in endgame. So let's get started. Heartless Ninny, welcome, welcome, welcome. Following Nicodemus' map, you start your long walk north to the guarded tower of... Oh my gosh, you guys, I have something to show you. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'll be back. You're right there. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's... Let's go back to full screen for this. So I went, I met a very friendly chat who works in a government building and he wanted to show me a Tudor wine cellar where you can, basically it's like, a, yeah, it's like a Tudor wine cellar that's super um, old school, like all old building materials and you can play Dungeons and Dragons there. And he felt that I needed this. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't, I feel, I feel it's a bit Nazi. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Imperium of Man. And uh, obviously I know it's not because it's about the Imperium. But he, fe he felt that it would behoove me to have a backdrop. So, you know, something like this. And I don't know, what do you all think? What do you all think of like a big black flag? Kind of makes me sad because at the moment I have like a peeping unicorn and you know, random stuff on my shelves. Of course we always have, we'd always have Will Wheaton. We'll always have Will Wheaton. Um, <laughs> Callum says, the Imperium's a bit Nazi. Surely not. <laughs> um, we, could, we could have this here. I suppose, I don't know, this is where stuff will fall off, isn't it? Let's see. This is not, this is not a respectful way to use a Wesley Crusher plate. P.S. Uh, just call me Kirsty Orsop. I don't know, something like that. I think I'd be, I'd get into trouble for heresy if I displayed the flag like that in, and I was a soldier. It's not very respectful, is it? Anyway, I thought that was a very thoughtful gesture. Um, yeah, one of one of the things that I, oh gosh, I don't know what's going on with my hair tonight. I'm, I'm going to get a wig seriously. My hair stresses me out so much in these streams. Um, yeah, one of the things that is quite tricky is when you meet a new human and you're talking about Warhammer, a bookshelf is better. Yeah, we'll find a way. We'll find a way to work that in. Maybe maybe that it could cover this messier area. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so when people newly meet me and they learn that I like Warhammer, um, 
a lot a lot of them some of their time will be tell, spent just lecturing me on Warhammer um, or trying to show off that they know more about me than Warhammer and um, that's fine I'm happy to come for a state of uh, ignorance as I'm learning about this genre but it, it makes me feel very strange when I don't know I I guess when I'm chatting to you all or Ian or Dan I feel I'm learning in a active way where I can ask questions and and show my interest and that is so different to someone who just wants to lecture me and yeah so I think it's a blessing ignorance is a blessing uh yeah okay end of speech makes the background a bit dark fully unfurled but it's cool with a little bit showing yeah also am I Imperium I guess you have to be if you're playing in this and you don't want to be a traitor Ugh, Imperium not a fun place for your summer holidays. Would gush feel like an appropriate word? Fucking hell. I mean, I don't know. That makes me feel all kinds of awkward, that word. Um, I don't know. I don't think... I think there's a difference, right? I think when... When someone's really excited and they're like, did you know that this Legion's super exciting because X, Y, Z? I can pick up on that and try and jump in with them on the da 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 da. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think just in general, when people assume to inform, it's, it's odd though, isn't it? Because if, if you say, oh, I really like this thing, and then people are going to assume that you're going to want to talk about it. So I don't know. Anyway, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but very grateful for the flag and yeah uh let's let's get into our end game because we're nearly there end game okay let's let's do this end boss following nicodemus map you start your long walk north to the guarded tower of zanbarbone the night prince you walk through woods and fields you're able to relax a little in the pleasant countryside and breathe the fresh air with its wonderful scents. As the light fades, you decide to camp under a huge elm tree. This is the kind of adventuring we want to do with camping and eating. You cook a meal of stewed rabbit and mushrooms, oh, poor rabbit, before settling down to a long, deep sleep. You awake feeling refreshed and gain two stamina points. You begin searching for a yew tree. Eventually you find one and cut a long branch from it. You spend the next few hours crafting a bow to fire the silver arrow. As you test the bow for accuracy, you are suddenly aware of a white dove sitting on a low branch nearby. There's a small piece of paper attached to its foot, which, lets, which it lets you remove before flying off. There is a message on the paper which reads, Dear friend, I am afraid I must be getting too old to be of use to anybody. I regret that I have misinformed you about the compound needed to kill Zan Barbone. You must only use two of the three ingredients I spoke of, but I cannot remember which two. I can only suggest you try the hag's hair and the black pearls together, or hag's hair and lotus flower, or the black pearls and lotus flower together. Apologies, good luck, N. You throw the message on the ground in frustration. You change your mind a dozen times before making you your decision. Finally, you make your choice and grind the two ingredients together on a flat stone. You place the compound in a leather pouch, hoping you have made the correct decision. You set off again, but it's not long before your surroundings become less welcoming. The trees are twisted or stunted, and there are no birds to be heard. You must be approaching the domain of the Night Prince. Suddenly to your left you hear rustling and grunting in the bushes. It is a wandering monster which has been attracted by your scent. Before we go to the monster, let's look in the chat. Um, Sean, a difference between them being passionate to lecturing. Jim Jam says, it's a fine line between info dumping about their special interest faction and lecturing. It's too bad most folks end up on the wrong side of the line a lot. Aztec, you could be an elder, Tau, Orc instead of Imperium or Chaos. I think I could be a Tau quite easily they seem blue and they have uh tau tea as i learned about in my first kafir kafir's cane novel 
Dead Pixel says, some people forget that the heresy itself is a four year journey on its own at one book a month. Never mind the rest of the Black Library catalog. There's always someone who knows more. The Space X, uh, Caprice says, the Space Elf Codex says, Team Xenos. Aztec, I'll buy to Ian knows so much more. And Callum says, Wandering Monsters, very first edition D&D. Indeed. Indeed. And as we all know, uh, Ian Livingston and Steve Jackson both contributed heavily to Dungeons and Dragons becoming a success. Okay, we have to roll one dice. So we have a bookmark here, thankfully, because we cheat sometimes. And welcome to the 28 people in the chat which just goes to show however exciting your Dan Abnett videos are. When you're on your own, know your reach. So we rolled a two. Let's continue. You scan the bushes warily, waiting for an opponent to emerge. Your eyes flicker downwards and spot a giant snake slithering away, slithering towards you. Its fangs are long and deadly and it looks hungry. Why is it gotta be a snake? As Indiana Jones says, you must fight. Oh Lord. Oh, sugar. Should have eaten before this fight. Oh well. Let's see how we do. Come on. Oh. Giant snake gets an early strike in and hits us for two damage. Let's use a luck here, shall we? No, let's fight. Yes! We hit the giant snake, 17 to 13. Oh gosh, that was a terrible roll. Okay, we're down to seven stamina and the giant snake has 15 stamina. Oof! Hit the giant snake. Okay, so hopefully we'll kill him on our next shot. Let's see. Oh, oh gosh. We could still die, everybody. Oh no, Sean says the mother snake come for retribution for us killing its children in that abandoned house. Oh. Darth says, I'm being made to read Harry Potter's by my little one. It seems that giant snakes called all kinds, cause all kinds of plumbing related havoc. And Salad Days is getting full grim flashbacks. It's not good, not a good time. Oh, okay, this is gonna be close. Oh no. Oh my goodness, we've got one stamina. Come on, we've got to do this. Oh! giant you are overcome by your enemies if you are beaten by this beast you are dead your quest to track down and defeat Zambar Bone has been thwarted it seems that the folk of Silverton will have to find another hero to best the night prince the end no we died surely it will let us come back oh my gosh no booted to the beginning charmless Utterly charmless. Use last bookmark. We're not cheaters, we're just forward planners. Okay, so here we are again. We're going to roll a dice to discern who our enemy will be. But first, let us shore up and eat our provisions. Okay, we're up to full health. We've only got one provisions left. Let's roll the die. <gasps> Six. Will that be very, very good or very, very bad? Let's find out. If you rolled a six. Cave troll! <laughs> you scan the bushes warily, doing your best to anticipate the danger before it strikes. Suddenly a large, blundering creature comes into view. Its arms are naturally long and it has very long, dangerous looking teeth. It is a cave troll and you will need to battle it. You must fight. Okay, let's go. We know what to do. Oh, potion of skill as well. Callum. I didn't see that. Okay, he has seven stamina. Let's go. Wow, our rolls are appalling. He hit us. Okay, this is better. Yes, we hit him. 
fantastic. We are the white dice, by the way. Oof, he hit us. Okay, come on, we can do this. Yes. I'm just doing this very quickly because it's making me nervous. Eek. That low skill roll really has made our life very difficult. Oh my God. And again, are we gonna die again? <laughs> we might die again. We're definitely gonna die again. Lord, we're down to four stamina now. Okay, this gives us a bit of help. But it's not gonna leave us in a very fit state to fight Zambarbone even if we do win. Oh. Oh. No, we're dead again. You're overcome by your enemies. Ugh. Let's just go back to the bookmark. Sorry, everybody. This is going to be a bit Groundhog Day, isn't it? So Callum's saying we should use the potion for skill. Let's use the potion. And let's use two provisions. Okay, this should help us beat this cave troll. Let's see if we do any better as on the dice rolls as well. Let's see. Not Nagini. <laughs> uh, game over. Eat some provisions. That's the punishment for our evil actions. We're not evil, Sean. We're just trying to keep the wells of the City of Thieves clear. Alex, how does rolling a six get you a cave troll? Should be a nice sit down and a cup of tea. <laughs> I agree, Alex. We're just trying the different options, right? <laughs> Says Caprice. <laughs> exactly, indeed. You must fight. Okay, come on, we can do this. Six. That's much better, that skill really helps us out. Okay. Terrible roll. We deserve that. Come on, better rolls. Oh gosh. Remember way back at the beginning of the adventure, everyone was like, we should probably try and roll a better skill because this skill is rubbish. And I was like, we'll be fine. No, I should have listened to everybody. Brilliant, our first hit, come on. Second hit, we just need two more hits. Yes, one more hit. Come on, cave troll, be gone. Ugh. I don't know how we're gonna kill Zambarbone. We are screwed. We should be fighting the troll with words. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can I just say I put in a 50 pound like grocery order for the week this morning. And I've now just received a message that they can't deliver it now. I'm so hungry. Oh my God, that's so bad. That's outrageous. Oh gosh. I think it might be too late to order takeaway. I'll have to improvise. Anyway, sorry for that distraction. Morrison's. What would we say to the troll? You look like a cow and you fight like one too. Yay, we are triumphant. Excellent. If you beat this large and ugly opponent, turn to 283. There is nothing useful to be found on this dead creature. Of course not, so you decide to press on northwards. Turn to 217. Oh my gosh, another fight. You walk for the rest of the day until you reach the hill shown on Nicodemus' map, upon which the Night Prince's tower stands. All is quiet and there is an unpleasant smell of decay in the air. Shadows start to creep along the ground as the moon rises into the night sky, and you see the foreboding, silhouetted shape of Zanbar Bone's tower pointing up into the sky like a black finger. You check all your possessions before drawing your sword and marching towards the arched wooden entrance door. 
Suddenly you hear a shrill howl and swing around to see two pairs of eyes staring at you. They belong to moon dogs, Sandbar Bones trained killer hounds. You must fight. This is awful. Ah, we've run out of provisions. We're so dead. And none of this will help us. Oh Lord, we might have to do a double cheat where we go back and roll the dice to get a really basic, <laughs> a basic enemy. Let's see what happens, come on. Oh, bloody hell. This is not boding well, friends. Why couldn't we have the easy setting? Uber Eats, yeah, but then I'm gonna eat an hour before bed and not sleep or have crazy dreams. Hi, Dave. Where do you work, Dave? Oh gosh, this is awful. We dared. We so dared. I'm just gonna click through this quickly, people. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. You can do a little bit of cheating. I don't know if you saw that. You're overcome by your enemies. Okay. Let's see what happens this time. This is awful. Use last bookmark. What if we're trapped here forever? I so thought we'd just be wandering into this and and be basically victorious. I just thought this was it. I thought we'd done it. Let's use one provisions and our potion of skill. So we have eight skill now. I'm gonna start using luck as well. Let's roll this dice. It's a five. Oh, it's a two. I can change the dice rolls by clicking on the mouse. Giant snake is two. That's better, much less uh, stamina. And let's also see if I can trick the dice roll and cheat a little bit if we get a bad one. Yes. Oh, 11, yes. That's good. Yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> We've learned how to cheat. I guess that's what's happening, I'm a cheating. I'm a cheaty rabbit now. Triumphant. I shouldn't really do a, a cheers because we, we are cheating. There is nothing useful to be found on the dead creature. So you decide to press on northwards. Giving our stats, says Dave, we were lucky to get this far. <laughs> Dave says, snake for dinner it is. Hi, Andrew Osman. Welcome. Welcome to the chat. There are 30 of us watching today. Welcome. Okay, so we walk for the day and we see the moon dogs and we must fight. And we're gonna use our new knowledge of how to bounce the dice and cheat. For which I apologize, but we all have busy lives. Some of us are at work and we want to win this book. So let's fight. Yes. You hit the, f oh no, there's two of these with this massive stamina. We're definitely cheating. That was a draw. Yes, 12. We're not cheating, says Philip. There are mini earthquakes every time we roll badly. Hello, hey LF. Yes, Aztec, we can push the dice rolls. I've only just learned this now. Oh, I also can't do maths. I can't do maths. <laughs> so it's a bit useless me being able to cheat. Hee hee hee, I feel so bad. We're not cheating, we're taking control of our fate. No fate but what you make, eh, Sean Dooley? Yes. <laughs> Feels good to be a winner, even if we're cheating. Extra unseen magic and skills are not cheating. <laughs> Plus five to click. Hey, Heartless. Hey, Aleph. Second moon dog. Has more stamina. Ish. Ulfgaard, good evening. Oh, that was terrible maths. Just goes to show that even when I'm cheating, I'm a terrible player. I'm a terrible gamer. 
imagine if I ever get to play with like Ian Livingston and I'm just so bad at games. He's like, you're never coming back. Oh, Mira. Oh, my math is terrible. It's not cheating when the game allows it. Thank you. Let's let's take that. It's not cheating when you're inept. <laughs> oh, flipping hell. Zambar Bone's going to destroy us. Oh my gosh. He has 11 skill. That's why. Feels like we're a 10 year old just turning past the battle saying we won. <laughs> That's how I'd like to play. Oh, sugar. You only get three extra rolls. Okay. We're gonna die, everybody. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, this is so hard. I need them to get super low. <laughs> I know because I was that 10 year old. Heartless, I still can't believe you interviewed him. Heartless, I've interviewed him a couple times before as well. You should check out the channel. He's lovely. Overcome by your enemies, Jesus Christ. Flipping heck. Okay, so we need to defeat the enemy here and then we need to do another bookmark. And then Zambar Bone's just going to smush us. Unless the Zambar Bone stuff is not combat based. We are kind of screwed. Oh, no, we don't want that cave troll. What's a five? Let's try a three, a four. Okay. What's a four? Brown bear. Okay, so let- oh, flipping heck, I forgot my skill potion! Mira! Sorry everybody, I'm clearly tired. Every like of the stream, Mira gets one extra dice roll as you can see, so get liking people. <laughs> Send the Inquisition, Mira's an unsanctioned psyker! Ugh. Okay. Yay! Brown Bay are dead! <laughs> yeah! We didn't even cheat very much. <laughs> We've proven we can defeat the troll already. Callum says, with our low skill, we're going to always struggle with the second moon dog. Okay. So, let's put a bookmark here. Okay, let's top up our provisions. Thanks, Callum, for the statistics. We might as well top up our stamina. Delighted to see Titanicus on the upcoming, not asking for spoilers of your thoughts, but I hope you enjoyed your time with it. Yeah, I agree. I loved it. I mean, I didn't love, love it. It was a little bit violent from Mira Manga taste, but I enjoyed it and there are a couple of characters that I feel were written just for me in Titanicus. So, hey, those of you who watched the stream with Dan just now, um, wasn't that amazing that he spoke a little bit about his feelings at the end of the heresy and dropped some hints about his new stuff? He's amazing. Okay. All right. So now we're going to fight the moon dogs. So let's do a bookmark here. And let's, we can't take anything else, can we? No boosters or anything like that. Okay. Okay, so, let's put my phone up here. Hee <laughs> hee. That's nice when you can cheat like that. If we can pass these battles, we have a chance against Zambar and his tower, even with the low stats. That gives me hope, David. Thank you. Oh, shit. Sorry, I've done three swears on this stream already. Very, very bad. Is my maths, my dice maths getting better? 
Barely. Ugh, that was really, really, really badly judged. Okay, we just need two more hits, people. We've still got 14 stamina, we can do this. Oof. Okay, even cheating, I'm like feeling it. Ah. Yeah, Dan seemed to have so much energy. Yeah, he is amazing. If you check out the other chats on my channel, he's the best. Oh, flipping hell, I misjudged that count, didn't I? I should stop looking at the stream when I'm trying to math. I blame you, Aztec, for being interesting. Oh my gosh, I forgot there's two of them! Okay, have some kombucha. This is all a learning curve. Is this really boring as hell for you all to watch? I can only apologize, people. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oh my god, that was a good roll. Why did I swap that? Oh. Come on. Come on! What the hell? I My brain has stopped mapping. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry, everybody. Do you know what? Shall I start pumping the luck? Oh, why did I do that? Oh, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. I'm gonna start using our luck up, I think, everybody. I'm so sorry, this is dull AF. So hard, this is so hard. I'm gonna use luck. Oh, for fuck's sake. That just worked against us. Happens to everyone sooner or later, perhaps a sip of tea. I know I haven't got a cup of tea. That's why I'm not calm. Dan is an absolute delight. Completely such... Kinder than some of my friends have been to me over the past few months, I reckon. Yes, did two more damage with that luck. I'm just nervous of using up all our luck before we meet Zan Barbone. Oh, David says luck won't help. Oh, shit. Sorry, that's four swears I've done on this stream. I apologize. I hope Dan doesn't watch the streams. That foul mouth woman. Okay, second moon dog, harder. Don't mention the lady by name. I'm tempted to hit luck here, but David's saying, don't do that. Gosh, this is really rough. Okay, we just need two more. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, we need three, three more than they have to win. Crikey, Momi. Crikey, Momi? What was I gonna say then? Crikey, Moses. <laughs> I haven't thought about Moses for ages. Let my people go. 
I'm just clicking on reflex now. This is horrible. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Please, please let us win. Yes, we've killed the second moon dog. I don't even know what a moon dog looks like. Maybe a wolf? Heartless says, I've met quite a few comic creators over the years and when they're cool folks, it's a great experience. Anyway, things are dicey enough. If they get bad enough, a Hail Mary with using luck wouldn't hurt. Flipping egg. Yes. Okay, you wipe the blood from your sword and walk to the wooden door. You try the handle, but it's locked. If you have a skeleton key, turn to 228. Well, we do. But let's firstly place a bookmark and then let's have some provisions. So we only have stamina seven. The key fits the lock which clicks open as you turn it. You open the door and enter a beautiful marble floored hallway. <laughs> On three of the four walls hang portraits of evil looking men and women but on the four, far wall hang two iron shields. The crest on one is a tower and on the other a unicorn. A spiral staircase leads up from the center of the hallway to the floor above. What will you do to take the shield with the tower crest? Please type tower in the chat. If you want to take the shield with the unicorn crest, please type unicorn in the chat. Or if you want to ignore the shields and climb up the staircase, please type stairs. So you need to type tower, unicorn or stairs in the chat. And I'm just going to quickly look at our notes. Part of our um, knowledge to kill Zanbar is to have a white unicorn tattoo on our forehead. Uh, yay, I didn't want to try and encourage people to unicorn, but we have three unicorn requests in the chat already. There are 34 of us in the chat this evening. So, oh, yay. Unicorn, uh, Willcat, Caprice, Aztec, Sean, Darthus, Unicorn, Heartless Ninny, Unicorn. Oh, Caprice was Tower of Power. Ulfgaard and Dr. Jif, Tower. Alex has to unicorn. Yay, using the Mirror Manga YouTube emojis. Salad Day's Unicorn, but maybe Stairs though. <laughs> uh, Robbie is Unicorn and Andrew says Tower. Well, I think the votes are in, people. So let us take the Unicorn Shield. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Peter. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yay! The shield was taken from a goodly knight who died at the hands of Zanbar Bone. It was forged with magic and we gain one skill point. We walk over to the spiral staircase with our new shield and climb to the floor above. A bookmark here. Turn to 21. Looking up, you see that the staircase goes all the way up to the top of the tower. You stop off at the first floor and walk along the landing to a door. The door opens into a large room which contains a comfortable made up bed. Okay, this is taking a turn. If you wish to lock the door, and go to sleep for the night, turn to 288, or explore the tower further and turn to 77. So I'm gonna ask everybody to write in the chat, sleep or explore. Do we wanna take a nap or do we want to explore further? So please use your voice. There are 36 of us in the chat. Please type either sleep or explore and I will do your bidding. What will it be? Heartless Ninny, time for a snooze. I mean, wouldn't it be great if we got, we went for a nap and we got all our power back? Uh, Callum, just let's have a nap in the house of the guy we're here to kill. Sounds sensible. Sean, haha, -ha, yes, nap time. Callum, explore. Daryl, explore. Heartless Ninny, haha. -ha. Dr. Jiff, sleep. David, explore. My salad days. That bed is a trick to trap those of us who are near 50 or indeed over it. <laughs> explore, explore. Neil says sound suffs to me. Andrew says explore. Robbie says explore. Heartless says it does sound mad, but we have low st st stamina. So maybe it's worth the risk. Willcat says explore. Don't trust strange beds. 
Aztec says, explore, then sleep later. Alex says, the bed sounds like a trap. Caprice, this is the regen point before the boss, right? It wouldn't be a trap. They went to the trouble of saying we could lock the door. Oh my gosh. Well, I think the chat has agreed. We are going to explore. Callum says, perhaps we should bookmark first, then sleep just to find out what the trap is. Well, I'm going to agree to do that. The chat has spoken and we will explore, but let's find out if we had a gone to sleep here. Nobody spends a night at Zanbar Bones and lives in the middle of the night. A jet of gas, which poisons you almost immediately, is released from the headboard on the bed. <gasps> Zanbar Bones, witches and servants, raise you into the world of the undead, in which you will serve forevermore as a spirit stalker. No! Which reminds me of one of my... Oh my god, my hair is wild. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh gosh, my hair is really bothering me this evening. So I'll see if I can show everybody the thing that that immediately made me think of. Uh, it just reminded me of a really camp. Oh, I don't know if, it, if it's on it's internet. Can anybody guess what death scene I'm thinking of? As I hopelessly search YouTube for it. YouTube, where are you? Uh. So other people have searched for this. Let's see. The only thing is that means this video could get pulled on copyright if we show this. I don't know what it is. Oh no. Oh. Here we go. Why is it doing this? They don't make uh, movies like that anymore, do they? They really don't. Oh no, that's embarrassing. You can all see the, uh, <laughs> I've been watching terrible Twilight homages on YouTube. Hey ho. Um, so yeah, let's head back to our fighting fantasy. Without further ado, we've got Zanbar Bone to kill. So I hope everybody uh, didn't mind that little cul-de-sac there. Let's explore the tower further. Kill to death by fart, says Sean. You walk quietly back to the staircase and climb up to the second floor. Again, there is a door at the end of the landing. If you wish to open the door, turn to 292. If you wish to climb up to the third floor, turn to 310. So if everybody could type either door or climb, and then we'll make our choice. Let's see what we're gonna do. Simro, it was so camp, wasn't it? Like lots of playful silliness, it was fun. Callum saying door. Callum knows stuff, so what do we think? Daryl saying door, so is Alex. And Kyle, and Simro, and Peter. Oh my goodness, there are 39 watching live. Crazy. Who would have thought that sleeping in the Big Bad's tower would be a death sentence? You know, sarcasm is not becoming heartless. Door, climb, door, door, bookmark and door. Neil, I like that option. <laughs> Let's place a bookmark. Door, we already needed a nap. Can't walk up more stairs, says Sean. I agree. Let's open the door. <gasps> oh, look at this art. Oh. Just because I know stuff, says Callum, doesn't mean it's not useless or dangerous stuff. But Mark. Wow, she looks incredible. You walk into an, a lavishly furnished room containing objets d'art and curios. Standing before you. I love that expression, standing before you. 
Not enough things stand before me is a young woman dressed in a black silk gown. She has long black hair and red lips. She smiles and motions you to sit down in one of the armchairs. You refuse to sit down, only too aware that she is one of Zanbar Bone's servants. She walks towards you open-armed as though she's about to embrace you. And when she smiles again, you see two fang-like teeth, which can only belong to a vampire. Well, luckily for us, we do have some garlic. So let's rock that out. Darth says, hoping that exploring will get us some provisions or health pots or something. Peter says, this is such fun. I played this when it was first published. Oh, yeah, I think I remember it too, Peter, all that age. Hugh says, oh, Mira, keep doing what you're doing. You're such a valuable part of this community. I hope so. I hope so. I feel like this community saves my life on the daily. So especially Sunday Night Scary. So thank you all for being here. A horrified look spreads across the vampire's face face. When she sees the clove of garlic in your hand, she retreats to the corner of the room, trying to escape the pungent smell which negates her blood-sucking powers. You back out of the room, taking the key to the door with you and lock it from the outside. You then run over to the staircase and climb the stairs to the next floor. You climb up to the third floor and see another door at the end of the landing. Okay, again, okay. Oh no. Uh oh. Is there an issue? On the YouTube? -y? No art to be seen. So, what can you all see now? Do I need to do a thing? I think it's frozen up. Okay, so what can you all see on your screen? I'm going to log out and go back in. Let's have a look. Okay, so this should be big me. Let's see if that works. I'm actually watching on, we can see you, but the, oh no, 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 I don't think it was. I think that we went to another door page that was extremely similar to the first one. So should we have a look? Because we walk back out of the vampire's room to the second floor and there's a door, and again, there is a door at the landing. So it's exactly the same choices as before, but we're on a different landing. So if we wish to open up the door, please type door in the chat. And if you wish to climb up to the third floor, please type a third in the chat. And hopefully it's working now. You can all let me know. No dice. No, it froze before the vampire room. On the second floor page. Oh, we never saw the art of the vampire. Okay, so. Okay. Thank you, Simro. <laughs> okay, so the vampire was. I think this might just be a typo then. Because... Well, let's see what... Do we want to open the door or climb up to the third floor? I think third floor, right? Let's see what happens. I'm sorry, I'm confused. It's getting late. Hang on. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay, I'm going to inbigen. And then we're going to quit out of the game. And then we're going to start the game again. Your mouse cursor is stuck too. Let's see what happens. It's been a fun run, people. 
It might be that this is the universe's way of saying, y'all ain't gonna get to finish this evening. I don't know, it's looking a bit stuck here too. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking a bit stuck. Hmm. I think, I think we might have to call it quits this evening because when I go into my scene two, it's showing something that isn't there. So I feel like I've maybe broken by going to look at a clip. Um, <laughs> I've broken my OBS and I think if I um, log out, hang on, let me see if I can add something. Okay, scene five and what would the sources be? the source be uh, one day I'll take a class in this and y'all are gonna be so impressed but not today is not that day maybe um, green now yeah I think I'm scared now I feel like we're playing with fire so we should probably cut our losses and stay together let's stay together on the big screen um, we've had a great run this evening <laughs> uh, yeah so we're so close so so close to killing Zambarbone um, I will make sure I get my well, at least, hopefully, we'll be able to play next Sunday to defeat Zambar. Um, David, it wouldn't be a mirror manga stream without gremlins. This is very true. Neil said, just carry on and describe it to us. Oh, that wouldn't be the same, Neil. Ulfgaard says, that's odd. I'm sorry it's giving you a hard time. Robbie, I would say we want to start the next one next week. Robbie, don't you want to read the glorious ending? Uh, Sean, yes, the dice gods were not amused by all that re-rolling earlier. Yeah, I think let's call it a night. It's Sunday night, I have to get ready for work. I'm super tired, I don't know about you lot. You lot. But um, thank you so much all for your support during the Dan interview. I feel very, very humbled. I haven't dared look at the viewing figures, but I hope that they're good and I hope people who aren't in our little streaming gang enjoyed it. Um, instant karma card, yep, yeah, that's what we got. Um, so kind of you, thank you those people who gifted uh, Robbie, thank you so much for your kind fan funding tonight. Dead Pixel Dave, it's really great to meet you. Thanks for joining us. And Neil, thank you both for gifting five Mirror Manga memberships. Oh, Alex, thank you for the kind uh, 10 bucks, 10 pounds. That's so, so grateful. Um, yeah, thank you for supporting the channel and really, really stoked that we're gonna get Dan to come back on. Um, yeah, so we need to all keep reading our Warhammer stories and supporting each other. And yeah, thank you. I had a scary Sunday, feeling much calmer, and hopefully I can sleep well, and you all can sleep well too. So let's all make sure we remember to top up our provisions, give ourselves calming cups of tea, and don't sleep in Zambar Bone's bed. And I think everybody should watch Flash Gordon. Maybe we could do a let's react video to some classic sci-fi at some point but yeah everybody have a great evening goodbye Callum lovely stream yes Robbie I think Zambar died of old age <laughs> waiting for us to arrive David thanks for the stream mirror easter egg day next week <gasps> it is easter next week um death trap jump 
Dungeon versus Trial of the Champions will be discussed next week. Have a great evening, Dave. Goodbye, Sean. Uh, we have to try and get a picture up of the um, well, well Inspector Mini. Uh, thanks, Heartless. Thanks, ev everybody, as well. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Caprice. Thanks, Aztec. Thank you so much again for the amazing chat donations and memberships. Um, yeah, have a lovely evening. Well, good, and I can't speak. I'm so tired. Good night, Callum. Good night, Andrew. I'm going to cut my losses, say good night, and have a really good evening, everybody. Good night, Kyle Sparks. Tata for now, Dave. Goodbye, Simro. Take care, Aztec. And yeah, hopefully, we'll see you all again very, very soon. Good night. Bye. Good night, Darthus. Yes, enjoy the Dan interview. I hate leaving. People are still saying good night. Good night, Daryl. <laughs> it's like the Waltons, isn't it? Okay, I'm really gonna hit goodbye on the, the button now. Goodbye, Ulfgaard. Take care and everybody and see you soon. See you next week, hopefully. <laughs>